Uh, hey, hey, Jock, how you doing? I trust you can see the game screen. Sorry about that, I was just messing around with some stuff. Indeed, can see it. Hey, Pineapple, hey, Jock, how you both doing? Yeah, this is a little awkward. Um, for some reason, I can't capture the game window, so I have to capture the game, the whole display screen. So it's going to be really awkward if I have to tab out every so often. So I also have to hope not to do that too many times. But oh well. I don't remember having this problem with the previous game, but anyway, doing all right, Jock. Doing okay. I mean, we did lose the fucking ashes, and I did just spend an hour watching us try to not lose, but hey-ho, did we do. Congratulations to all, all of my Australian viewers. There's actually nothing on my desktop that's really embarrassing, to be honest. I mean, so don't worry, you, no one will spot anything incriminating. So, um, yeah... Thief 2, The Metal Age, which hopefully I am running with the, uh, I am, as you can see, I am running this with the Dark Engine, similar to the first game, allowing for modern resolutions and all kinds of stuff. Hey, both of us. Um, so... Obviously, I played Thief 1 last year, which was gifted to me by Fuzzball. And Thief was an interesting experience. It was a fun game. It was very atmospheric. The ending was a bit crap, because this game doesn't do... That, that game didn't do combat very well, and it was really... Uh, <laughs> uh, very, very awkward with the combat near the end. But I would say that Thief was an interesting game. I love the atmosphere of the game, love the sneaking around, and if you, a game that makes me appreciate sneaking, you know, not being the biggest fan of stealth games. I thought that Thief was a good way of doing it. Yes, I certainly will shut the mouth of all those annoying plebs. Plebs like you, Dave. So, um, yeah. Uh, I basically mostly enjoyed Thief, and I loved the story and everything. But then everyone tells me that Thief 2, the Metal Age, is even better than the first one. <laughs> and this game was also gifted to me by Fuzzball during my playthrough of the original Thief last year. So it was only a matter of time before I got around to playing it, and here we are. I've been, I've heard that Thief 2 is a very, very... is much better than the first one, and it's arguably the best in the series. Above 3 and the modern remake. And this came out, I believe, a year after the first one, and I, I guess it... I think it uses the same engine, in fact, because I was able to use the dark side places whatever engine to get this up to modern standard i just hope that the controls are set properly but we will see so i guess the first thing we should do is look at the intro and hope that it shows up properly oh yeah i guess these guys were involved too Poured his children's eyes from glass, and from steel wrought their hands, that none could escape his judgment, the new scripture of the master builder. Yeah, I get reminded of Tomb Raider when I see the Aegis logo every time. Mm -hmm. 
Halo. ominous stuff basically well we'll have to see jark i mean all i can do is announce the stream and hope she comes so that was an introduction to thief 2 um it's pretty much about the same as we did in the first game you know there's garrett sneaking around places killing guards although that's not what we did last time we mostly just knocked people out and stole their money we didn't actually kill many people because we were extremely uh, against violence until we had no choice but to be violent. Also because it was kind of satisfying to use the blackjack. No killing! Oh yeah, there was also the whole you're not allowed to kill anyone thing on the higher difficulty. That might have been the main reason why I didn't kill anyone. Because thieves don't kill people. On the highest difficulty anyway. So, um... Now, let's see. What can I remember of the plot of the first game for a bit of a recap going into this? Well, Garrett's a thief. He originally trained with people called the Watchers. Then he left the Watchers to become an independent thief and he stole some stuff. But then he got caught into a, uh, a quest to find four magical items for a wizard. He was then betrayed by the wizard and lost his eye. Then he had to undo what he'd done. Basically, by stealing all this stuff and knocking out a lot of people, he'd caused a potentially world-ending scenario to occur, which he then undid. And then he rode off into the sunset, or rather, the very dark night, to be told that the Metal Age is coming. And that's really not a good thing for Garrett, apparently, for whatever reason. So, in short, Thief gets his comeuppance for stealing a lot of shit and undoes it and saves the world. But now it's the Metal Age. Now, I'd be interested to see if this means, if this is kind of a story about how technology is catching up to magic and stuff. Because obviously there was the Hammerites who were obsessed with building things and worship a builder god and they build shit. But there was also magic versus technology going on. You know, we had magic, weird, otherworldly events, but there was also a lot of technology as well. So I'm guessing the Metal Age is going to be more about how technology is perhaps superseding magic or something like that. Which I guess might make thieving a harder thing to do if people have better technology to detect and stop thieves and shit. So, I think, before we start, I think the controls, and I haven't actually checked them compared to my first one, but I imagine the controls are okay, and if not, I'll just have to adjust them again on the fly. I know that I had to do this with the previous game, I had to fucking, uh, mess around with controls for ages. Wow, there's actually Thief 1 default bindings. Thief 2 default. I'm guessing it's on Thief 2 default. Oh, let's read game. We just read everything as it is. Video, audio, everything's good. Alright, I guess we'll just mess around with the controls when we start playing. I mean, I, I don't remember all the controls, obviously, but I'll rewind them. It's all good. Alright, so, um, I guess it's time. By the way, you did all see the cutscene, right? when it played. I'm just a bit worried that this being a movie capture instead of it being, I mean, sorry, not movie capture. Uh, that's what I titled it. Um, it. Being the screen capture instead of the game capture. Okay, cool. So we have no problems with dropping out only when I alt tab. Okay, that's something I'll just have to deal with, I guess. Right, well, I guess it's time to start playing the game then. So finally, Dave and all those Thief 2 fans, hello, Jaws. Well, finally get to see me play this. I have a lot of expectations for this. You've all been telling me this game is much better than the first one. And really, all it would need is just not to have annoying combat at the end, and that would make it better. So, I'm 
guessing, like with the previous game, Expert is the way to go. Because it gives you more objectives and it doesn't allow you to kill people. I'm guessing that's what I should do once again. So we'll be playing on Expert. We did beat the previous... I did beat the previous game on Expert. It basically gives you more... It doesn't seem to change the actual damage. It just basically means you get more objectives and you're not allowed to kill people. But since you can knock people out forever anyway, or you could in the first game, it didn't really make much of a difference. Once someone was knocked out, they didn't get up ever. So it wasn't that big a deal. It did mean extra objectives and lots more cool shit. So I guess we'll probably start off with a uh, an interesting, uh, vague cutscene of verses and speaking. But here we go. Thief 2 at last. Reliance upon others is weakness for the strong, but strength for the weak. Wisdom and balance lie in knowing your own nature over time. Chronicle of the Metal Age. I've always equated feelings with getting caught. They both get in the way of my money. Unfortunately, not everyone is as committed to their work as I am. An old associate of mine, Basso the Boxman, wants to marry Lady Rumford's chambermaid, Genevieve, and live happily ever after. Guess prison life spoiled his taste for thievery. Too bad for Basso that Lady Rumford has other plans. Marriage would void Genevieve's indentured service contract. So Rumford is keeping her confined in the estate with the rest of her worldly possessions. Basso has asked for my assistance on getting her out. Since infiltration is my specialty, I make it a policy never to take a job so sentimental. But the Rumford Manor could be a lucrative opportunity for a man like me. It would also mean that Basso would owe me a favor. And in this line of work, you can never have too many of those. I'll sneak in after dark and clear a path for Basso so he can rescue his damsel in distress. Along the way, I'll pick up a few souvenirs for the local pawn shops. That should make all this aggravation worthwhile. Otherwise, I'll make Basso wish he was still rotting in Crag's cleft. This proves it. Going legit is more trouble than it's worth. Wait, was that the same guy we rescued in the previous game? Or was that somebody else? Okay, so this is an interesting first mission already. Uh, oh wow. So yeah, it is much like that. You basically just have to... <laughs> You're not allowed to kill anybody on any difficulty here. So those are normal, hard, and expert. So, uh, oh, we don't have a map to consult at the moment. Interesting. So, running interference. Once you are ready for Basso to go, give him the signal using the bird call he gave you. You have to be close enough for him to hear it. Help Basso and Genevieve get out of the mansion together. You need to scout ahead to make sure Basso's route is safe. Which translation means I'm probably going to be knocking out a lot of guards. Luckily, Basso didn't say anything about not taking Lady Rumford's stuff. Get 600 in loot, including 200 in gems. Now that's different. A very specific requirement for getting 200 in gems. Previously, it's just been get X amount of loot. But now it's like, ah, you're going to get it in gems. Precisely. Jennifer would be aghast if anyone died because of this. Don't kill anyone. I find that kind of interesting, actually, but all the difficulty says you know how to kill anyone. Right off the bat, they're pretty much encouraging people to use a damn blackjack. Still, nothing stops you from teaching these guards a lesson and getting in a little practice. Score at least eight knockouts. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I will, have, I will be knocking out all the guards, probably. So, do we get a map? We do not. Spring the lock on the side door for you, Garrett. It's the only good way in. All right, thanks, dude. Well, uh, cheers, I guess. And here we are. Welcome back to Thief. It was a dark night. Where's... Okay, so now I need to remember all the damn controls. Ah, oh, yes. 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 The maps. 
Oh, brilliant. They still have the maps, the old style maps where you just, you, I love these. Garrett, Jen's door will be locked, but don't worry, I can handle that. Hint, hint. Guess he's a lockpick expert. Wow, there's a lot here. The maps are a bit more detailed this time. More detailed? They were pretty detailed to begin with, honestly. Yeah, I see what you mean. It looks a bit more cleaned up, doesn't it? Front wings. But I love these maps. You know, it was like sometimes he even had to draw them as he went on. That was really cool. I love this kind of mapping style. Like tracks you in every room you're in. So that's sweet. So there's, I guess that's going to be the route, the intended route we take. Oh god, dining room, music room, bath, parlor. All kinds of stuff. There we go. Okay, so where's my quick save button? F6? Oh crap. Great, we already have a problem. Where's quick save? S and Alt? I'm not like fucking that. Quick save is gonna be F5, and you know it. Now with here you have a mini map of flashing icons, so you're looking at more of that little map in the corner of your screen than the game itself. Oh no, all the controls are weird. Oh god. Can I f I want I wonder if I should load up the default bindings from the first game. Maybe that'll help. Maybe. No, that actually just exposes that the controls of the first game were also a bit weird. There's Quake bindings. Alright, now you got me interested. Is that gonna help? No, none of this really helps. God damn it! I had this bloody problem with the first game. I had to configure half the a decent amount of control to get it working. Oh man, I need to I need to change some of these immediately. I don't want to use any of these. Oh, heat alt and backspace. Okay, off. Square two. Why might we? I don't want to accidentally hit any of these. To be honest. I'll leave these, these are fine. I'm not gonna mess around with any of that, but compass can stay as F12. Scouting orb? Hmm. Okay. So quick no, no, look, look. Oh, yes. F5, F9. Okay, I think we're good. There we go. <laughs> okay, I think... There we go. We're good. Right. I think there's just a few more things I need to do. Let's see if I can remember. Compass. Bird call. Is that all I have? A sword. No, I want to put away the sword. Ah, the trusty blackjack. Got water arrow. And that's it. Okay. How do I... No, what the... Oh, God, no, 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 no. We need to change more controls now. Crouch toggle should not be X, ever. Crouch should be C. Lean left... Okay, lean left is fine. Lean forward is W. I think that's right. Uh, holster, holster. Did I set to X in the previous game? Clear weapon. Is that holster? Oh, 
Okay. That's fine. Tilt is... Withdraw the weapon. I'm fine with that. No, there was one other thing. There was a... Okay, jump. Jump's fine. Lean is fine. Now, I'm sure I have an X. I want to put an X. So I'm used to X, not the tilt. It's a far better thing. I'm going to switch that. Drop item. Oh, God. Next inventory item. I need to change that immediately. Um... change that as well. Where was it? It was uh, clear weapon. Need to change that to X. Yeah, I'm just trying to remember. I'm sorry about this, everyone, but trust me, once these controls are set, we're, we're good to go. Basically. Yeah, that's better. Ah, yeah, there we go. That's what we want. Okay. I need to drop items sometimes to complete missions. Okay. Creep. Uh, yeah, that's a point. I'll need to creep, won't I? Sometimes. Uh, lean forward is W. Wait, what? Why is it W and? That's really fucking weird. I'm not having that either. What could I use for lean forward? What did I use in the previous game? Can't use Q and E. Uh, I know this is for a very specific um, thing. I was trying to remember what it was. Did I use F, maybe? F for lean? I'll set it to F. And then what it says, drop item is R. Oh god, no, don't do that. Don't make it R. Make it something I won't press accidentally. Maybe a P to drop. Okay. Right. I think we're okay to. I think we're okay to start playing now. Let me just check that. Was it R I set for the thing? Yeah. No, it's F. Yeah, that. That's very important for one thing only, but it's there. Okay. Cool. Right. We can start playing now. So let's play. Alright. Sorry about it, everyone. But here we go. We're in the game. We are off. So the thing at the bottom of the screen you are seeing is the light meter. For those who haven't played Thief before, basically the light meter is very, very important. We will be using it to determine how visible you are. And you will be, it's very, very vital. If you are yellow, you can be seen by anyone. Um, if it's in the black, you are invisible. Unless someone bumps into you. And I think there's a orange state if you are kind of spotted. But they have their back turned or whatever. Oh, great. Oh, yeah, it's right quick to open. So here we are inside. Hopefully the door was shut, eh? Um, this isn't going to be worth my... No, that's just a goblet. We'll leave that. Good thing the butler's out for the night. He left his lights on. <laughs> no shit. Yoink! Thanks for the dosh, butler! Thanks for the dosh.
Yeah, the lovely loot. Now, uh, this is going to be a bit of a problem. We don't have any way of dealing with technological lights. So we just have to be plain up sneaky. We do have water arrows, but they aren't going to help us with... Um... Oh, yeah, that's it. Red is... Uh... I think it's to do with noise, actually. Like, if it's red, it means you're making a noise. Or something like that. I forget. Anyway. We do have to be careful in regards to... Oh, okay. Um, I think there was a shortcut to bring up the map, too, if I'm not mistaken. I think. Oh, right, it's just M. God, I'm so stupid. So the cool thing is that when you... To locate yourself around the game, uh, basically you press M and it, show, it highlights the area you're in based off the map. So, if you're used to modern games guiding you around, well, this game guides you around pretty well. It basically will say, oh, you're here. So when you move over to the guards area, that area will be highlighted and so on. It's really effective and doesn't insult the player's intelligence. I'll fart in this? I don't believe that. So we got a, looks like there's a stir thing up to the right. There's a under, I don't know, some of the butler's quarters. We'll probably go there first. Oh, it's locked. Um, do we have the, the lock pick tools? No, we don't. That's going to be a problem with no lock picking devices. I don't believe you, Dave. Okay, so you can lockpick doors, but since we don't have the lockpicks on us for some reason, we can't do it. There's a key on the board, is it? Oh yeah! Holy shit! How did you know? How did you see that? You're freaking, you're freaking good, jerk. And now to do some sneaking. How the bloody hell did you spot that? Oh right, okay. Right. One's the blind idiot. Don't mind me. I guess there's no one around the butler's area, so I'll leave that. Ooh, is that more money? No, nope, that is cheese. Oh baby, we found some more gold. Oh, it still has the auto thing from chest, but oh, that's fine, whatever. This is what the butler lives in, I guess. Jeez. Basic quarters, no fancy stuff here. There is a class system in this game. There are peasants and there are wards. And the wards are usually in cahoots in crime sometimes, as we have discovered in the past, anyway. You see hey, that too? Someone back there? Oh. Hmm. Must be one of them grubbers again. <clears throat> Also, was that a female god? I mean, <clears throat> that was a female god, huh? I think. Which is something. There weren't any female gods in the last game. <clears throat> Guess they found a female voice actress to play a god or something. Ah, now then, here's where we can pour for. Singing in the morning and waking you up. Singing at 
night looking for girl birds to meet up with. Just don't hear them no more. Kinda sad. Birds? There's no birds in this world? Anyway, let's skip with that. That's how you... Damn torches. Always sputtering out. Well, don't just make tap over it. Light it up. I lost my tinderbox. Oh, why don't you do it? I ain't the one that's complaining, am I now? Huh. <laughs> wow, they reacted to that. <sighs> they also seem to have colds. So yeah, we can now sneak past them and well, this will be. So what are we doing? Yeah, I love the story of the first game too. It, it It's basically the best kind of storytelling where the story gets told in the game as you're playing it and you're kind of like filling in the blanks. Electricity. Yeah. Electricity is a thing. Although it's kind of a weird world, this one. It's one of those worlds where, again, as I said earlier, there is... Magic and technology. Can't do anything about those, unfortunately. So, basically, we don't want to be going there because there's a shit ton of guards. Got it. No problem. We just won't go in there then. Oh. I can't. Is this back turned to me? Mm -hmm. oh. Say good night, dude. <laughs> well, okay. We need to now. We need to grab the corpse and put him away somewhere nice and safe and cozy and tight. Uh, this may or may not be a good thing. I don't. Know. They were actually. They must have heard that or oh, some. They're gonna come out of there and they ain't gonna see this flying corpse, hopefully. She also rocks. Rocks a lot. Yeah. I think we'll probably not go into the generator room because who knows that they might just go there randomly suddenly. I'll put you in here. This seems a good enough spot. It's one for eight. I think. Yep. One down, seven more to go. So it's nice to know that Looking Glass Studios got some new voice actors for this sequel. <laughs> Is that? Hmm. It's the workshop, isn't it? Well, no, it's it's something that like all of some games have. It's sometimes called like the steampunk, but I don't think this is really steampunk, really. It's like where you have that mixture of technology, but then there's a bit of magic thrown in as well. I don't think it uh, is it steampunk. Well, I've heard that um, steep fee free is where the series goes downhill, right? Oh, baby. Flares. And a flash bomb. Flares, that's a new uh, item. Maybe we can use them to signal shit. I don't know. Oh, could be useful. Oh, what's this? Ooh, the secrets. Flash bomb, flare, healing potion, some 
very wow one secret already and we're up to 114 in change we need 600 loot we have, we have 15 gems already so that's good hmm I don't think we have any reason to go in there unless we want to try and knock out two guards at the same time, but there'll be better opportunities for that, I suspect. So we'll just wave them to it and go forward. Hey, Don Juan, how you doing? Welcome to the first level of Thief 2. We've only just started. Hmm. I can't seem to reach that. No, I can't seem to reach that. Oh well. Oh, this is a steam plant. I guess there's nothing there then. Oh, good. Ah, okay. I seem to be used to the controls again. I mean, I help. I help a few people who come. I mean, this is a, a first-person game of sorts. Hmm. It's an archer, I think. Yep, it is. It's an archer. This is... Uh... Oh, actually, actually, I think that was the guards' room we were in before, I think. Or was it? No, no, maybe it wasn't. You'd love to make levels for this, but the edge is not the easiest to use. Oh, well, actually, this might be the kitchen area. Never mind. He's kind of walking around in circles for some reason. Don't know why. That's, this is what happens when you. This is what happens when you have coffee withdrawal symptoms. Everybody, you end up like this dude. Walking around in bloody circles. He's using an anti-thief technique. Yeah, he certainly is, but how long is he going to be able to keep that up? Like, he's got a lot of... Um... Hmm. Fortunately, his anti-thief technique is no match for charging in him very quickly. Yeah, he'll get dizzy, see? If he wasn't running around like an idiot, he would have reacted and screamed, Help! Help! There's a guy charging at me with one eye! But no. Now he just gets to spend the night on the floor of the storeroom. You have to be careful when you dump bodies, by the way. If you throw it too high, you'll kill them. That's why I'm being very careful. It's all coming back to me now. All the training from the first game. I I suspect I'll probably be able to... I, don't, I suspect I won't be running too many new tricks in this one. But you never know. There might be some new shit that gets thrown in. Hey, Alper. How you doing? I... Oh, and thank you for 10 bits pineapple. Yeah, I was going to do the Iron Man tonight, but I decided to do this instead. I was kind of more keen to play this. The Iron Man's will happen later. 
Yeah, or fire, or deep water. I could put... Oh. Oh, I was hoping it'd be a book. I do love to read some of the stuff that you find in this game, but no dice. Seems we are behind the scenes of the kitchen. Plates, 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 plates. Ah, oh, this will be the butler's elevator, won't it? Jock, the lights don't move when poly objects move. Let's see, is there any wine balls in here that might be worth a pretty penny? Oh, oops. Oh, what's that? Ooh, a secret speed potion. Nice. Aren't some of these meant to be worth a fair amount of cash? Oh yeah, that's the one. The gold ones are the ones that are worth the cash. And all the others are like... Not. Good quality one! We seek only that. Everything else is just trash. Be abandoned. Wow, two secrets already. We're off on a good start. That brings us up to 190 in a uh, loot. Oh man. I'm gonna, I mean, um, I'm gonna guess that when they made this game, they did not. They, they probably didn't really want like a tutorial level like the first game had. They kind of just thought, okay, everyone's played Thief 1. This came out next year. We'll just assume we're really good at it and we'll just carry on from there type thing. Fires burn. Who would have thought? If we try to turn them off and on again. This must be where they get the water from. The well. Inside the fucking house. Well, ain't that rich? You got a fucking well inside your kitchen's basement. I mean, that's kind of cool, right? Careful here, actually, because wasn't there a card? Okay, we're gonna go to the servants' court. Oh, just don't want me. Oh, I see. That must be where we need to go. I guess um, we need to go in there and clear the path. Okay, that's fine. Well, we're not gonna go. We're not gonna have, obviously, we can't just leave as soon as we done the objective because we got a lot of stuff to do but clear the path I will knock out every fucking guard in this building and steal their shit there's actually a reason to steal a lot of things on a level 2 because if this is like the first game in between levels there's going to be the option to go to a shop and buy equipment in between levels so. oh there's a guy there I could have got a boy. You saw nothing. You're going to see nothing when I knock you out. Uh, we'll just put you down here. That should do the trick. Psst, yeah, you just glitch into the wall. That's what I want. Perfect. <laughs> Dave, I don't believe you. Which probably means that there'll be some weird curse later on where I come down with the affliction of bloatitis or something and I have to make noise every two minutes. Thanks for the host, Six. Yes, we have thief. We are thiefing it up. We are sneaking and bopping people on the head. That's that's what we are doing. Yep. That's what we do now. We sneak around. 
And you've joined at a good time, Six. This is the first level. We are basically... Our first mission is a glorified... It's kind of an escort quest, but not really. We have to get a former... Well, actually not former. Current colleague with his soon-to-be wife and bust him out of his place. Money. Dosh. Wonga. But not a lot of it. Just a few gold pieces, I guess. Well, these are the servants' quarters. I guess they won't really have that much money. I would feel bad stealing from these servants because they probably don't deserve to have their shit nicked. But... I'm a thief. I'm stupid enough to nearly cause the end of the world. I don't really care about five copper points for my servant's penchant. Ah, now, what's this here? Done yet. Sometimes I think I miss the days when crime ruled the streets, as the sheriff would have it. Either way, we walk in fear. But before, we lost at most a purse. While now we may be shut up in iron simply for seeing the wrong thing at the wrong time. Give me the old days back again and a pox upon Truett and all his thugs. Okay. Interesting. So, I'm... Truett. I don't know who that is. Someone pining for the uh, days before. Sounds like maybe after the events of the previous. I don't know. I don't. I mean, that's the thing. You you don't know. You have to sort of figure it out sometimes with some of these clues. After the, what happened in the first game, when we nearly doomed the world, is there perhaps a stricter martial uh, martial law at dark or something? Like you're not allowed to see shit, or made a bit more careful about when citizens walk the streets or whatever. Proteus would like to speak to you, Pine Tree. Huh. Anyway, it sounds like they missed the days of some set fogs, regardless. Hmm? Wait, is there someone there? It's never really anything. You're mine! Oh. I guess there was this guy. Uh, got you! <laughs> what? I knocked him out when I was... In attack mode? I mean, I hit him in the back. Wow. Okay. I didn't expect that to happen. I'm not gonna lie. Can you do that now in this game? Can you knock people out if you get the back? I hit him in behind, but previously, if they alert, they never ever get knocked out. I was just gonna. Re I was about to just reroll the save, actually. I'll just leave him here. Uh, maybe not. Yeah, that's an interesting change. Although I don't think I'll be trying to knock people out by sidestepping them in a corridor. Somehow. I just got lucky there, basically. Yeah, but in Thief 1, if every time a guard sees you, you can't use the blackjack anymore because it just doesn't ever hit them. Now it seems if I get lucky I can sidestep them and just smack them on the back of the head. Also, how the hell did I not even spot that guy? Eh, whatever. It's all good. It's all good. He's another one out the way. He must have just been... Oh, I get it. He would have been sat in there just doing nothing but not even making them. I didn't even hear him. I well, think. Oh. Well, that's her door. I guess Basso can open it. He's not much of a sneak, but he can sure handle a lock. Sorry, Gout, I interrupted your thing. Hmm. Well, that's what we gotta do. I guess we could just do this objective and then just, like, um, keep going, right? Oh. No, it looks like they follow us around. So we're not going to do anything yet. We're going to carry on. I think we will save here, though. Just as a precaution. 
I was gonna say maybe I just free her and then carry on doing stuff, but it sounds like they probably follow me around, so I'm gonna go take care of everything else before freeing her out. Yeah, as do I, pineapple, as do I. I mean, it took me a while, it took me, it was a little weird at first, but after playing like a medieval, which is kind of similar style, like high res graphics, but the low res or whatever, then I was like, oh, this will be cool. It's like claymation almost, but it looks cool enough. Is there anything in the water here? Look at that, it's underneath the, must be a bath or a spa or something. Plumbing, as it is called. Yeah, you can see up there, it'll be like a, a bath or, this is a, a lady's m mansion, so they've got some, they got some posh shit in there. So, housekeeper, now we're coming on the housekeeper's area. God, can you imagine working in a place like this? Look how dark it is. <laughs> wow, what? What is this? It's a hidden thing behind several layers of boxes. Interesting. Oh, need to be careful. I don't want to make too much noise. What do we have here? Got a bread, a silver tray, two candles. Is that a gem? No, oh, it is. Oh no, it's not. It's a it's something else. I want better portals and lights. Dang it! Hmm. It's odd. Is there something around the back here? Oh, there is gold. That be gold. This is, huh? Okay. Uh, just normal tray, I guess. Huh? Okay. I think I get what the picture is here. This is like the secret stash of one of the employees or something. Like, you know, this is what they um, they hide it away behind all these boxes, and they just kind of. Use this bioluminescent mushroom. It could be a bed. I mean, according to this, it's it's not even the housekeeping. It's just this random storage room. And there's a few goods here. Two candles, a giant cog. I'm guessing that somebody in the house is sneaking away supplies. And hiding them here. Who knows? That's the great thing about this kind of game. There's no fucking marker. There's no fucking side quest. You see this. You have to do the math. You come up with a story. I love that kind of shit. And that's why I like the first game. And why I already love this one. Little things like that. Put a bunch of items in a room. Tell a story. One of the fucking servants is stealing supplies. And to think I thought this game would be horrendous when I first played it, because, oh god, it's a stealth game. <laughs> oh boy, was I ever wrong. I'm proud to be say I was proven a thousand times wrong that day. Hmm. Okay, no one's asleep. We're good, we're good. And I see some money. Yoink. Uh, this is a much nicer looking area. The housekeeper, I guess, gets trapped well. <laughs> yeah, gonna have to agree. This is a stealth game I like too. I mean, that's why I don't really play a lot of stealth games because it's usually like the penalties for being spotted are you die in two seconds and it's all about. I don't know, I just never liked them. Can't throw in this game. There could be some. I don't think it's anything under the bed, though. But there could be a world of little secrets around. Is this 
also got money in it. Alright, cool. Hold on. Oh, that'd be for upstairs, of course, yeah. Alright, I think we've cleared the ground for the basement. It's time to go upstairs to the posh end. After we have a little peek um, here. So I'm just going to look ahead slightly. So. Notes. Oh! Uh, thank you for the follows. Stepping ours 13 poster. Thank you. How are you doing? I see. So there's. Music bath, music room. Just trying to get an idea where we'll end up, actually. Uh, I guess we'll just head upstairs. Yeah, this is the only stealth game I've really enjoyed. I mean, aside from like maybe uh, Penumbra and Amnesia, but those were more of a horror bent. And also they were very easy stealth games. Really? You, you said this to me last time. You said that Thief 2 is bigger, longer and better. I won't be surprised. I mean, Thief 1 is kind of like, they know what they can do. So they made more levels and told a good story because they didn't have to worry about making the game play uh, as... Oh, no. Thanks, buddy. I'll never get to hear this the rest of your sentence, but anyway. I mean, Thief came out in, what, 98, was it? The first one, it came out in 98? Ooh, we got that creepy music I love. Yeah, there were some really good variants in the first game, to be fair. I mean, you did a lot of house stealing, but there was all kinds of stuff thrown in. There was never really a dull moment in Thief 1. It was just more of a case that near the end, when the fighting began, it was just more of a, oh, really? It's actually kind of an interesting thing where the one problem with the whole of Thief 1 is the moment you have to fight something. Like, in any other game, it's the stealth section sucks. In Thief 1, it's the combat section sucks, and you have to play around there. That's how good the first one was. You actually quite preferred it when you were sneaking around a place and having to do stuff. I just love that. It's... I don't actually know what this is. It doesn't actually say what the room is, so it's something. Well, I guess we'll just ignore it and carry on. I mean, the combat wasn't terrible once you got used to it, but it was by far the weakest element of Thief 1, anyway. Hey, Capielli47, how you doing? Always nice to see a new face around here. Here we are, look at this ornate. Actually, we need to be really careful here because it's a very loud floor. Look at that. Airbrush. So here's the bath. Look at it. It's it's a bath. Hey, bemused. If I don't go do star jumps on a tiled floor every time I find the herb bush. What a weird oh, it's a nice picture. Someone lounging there with a as you do. I gotta say I'm good. I gotta say I'm a retro FPS streamer myself, but I haven't gone around to play the Thief series. Oh man, Capelli, you have to play Thief 1. I've played Thief 1 last year, 
and apart from the very end i loved it it was so so good like they don't make games like thief anymore i could say that having played one and the first level of two they really don't make games like this anymore okay so the bath so we got not much there what about the music room which will probably be very occupied i suspect Maybe not, I don't know. Actually, it's completely empty. <laughs> There's the bookcase. Texture, I should say. Taffer! It was only a matter of time before somebody mentioned that. We've not heard of Taffer yet. In fact, quite the opposite. more cash we've had people complaining about the lack of birds and rocks apparently it's a little creepy that picture uh i guess someone is very intelligent so you got them s i don't know a harp can we play the harp there's a Oh, we just stole a flute. <laughs> Go over quite Yeah, same here, Capelli. I've got a lot of classic games to play. Heretic, Hexen, Redneck Rampage, Sin. And some of the other stuff on my list. Fortunately, Garrett cannot play the... Uh, Hop. So, this, uh, this, uh, oh, I thought it might like a hidden door or something, because it's like a little gap, but it's just a curtain. Hmm. I thought it might like a secret door or something I could go through. Yep, it is. A lot of people have waited for this. Understandably, I mean, I did say I wanted to play Thief 2 pre uh, within about a year of being the first one while it's still fresh in my head. Some curtains can be walked through. Yeah. I don't think there's anything through these curtains, though. There's a lot of interconnected parts, but nothing here is just, it's just decoration, I think. Yeah, there's gonna be nothing behind there, really. I can next one of the first few games you did in your series. I do be amused. Yeah, I've played Heretic, but I only got up to E4M2 and I just sort of stopped playing. I didn't stream that, though. I just kind of... Hmm. There seems to be a distinct lack of people around here, which is interesting. And thank you for the follow, Capieri47. Um, I hope you hate Revenants. <laughs> nice door, by the way. I hope there are people here. That would, have, that would have been quite a spooky thing. You go through all this area and it's just a fucking darkness. Hmm. I think we may decide not to go straight for the middle of that for now. We're going to go back down to the the uh, the dark, dark, smelly basement and come out for the other side. Good, you're in good. You're in good company, then, Capelli. I do play a lot of Doom Wards. That's where it comes from. I mean, the main reason I've a lot of people come here is to watch me play Doom stuff. But I am playing more variety from this from now on. I'm not just going to play Doom and not even FPS all the time. I am going to play a lot of different things in years to come. I'm becoming a variety channel. Oh, oh, okay. The, the, oh. Uh, give me a sec. Oh, that's really nice. I like that. 
So when you go through rooms, it highlights it in blue to show you've already been to it. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I like that change. I mean, it doesn't really change a whole lot but for me, but I, it's a nice thing. It's a nice feature. That was something that wasn't in Thief 1. Okay, so I'm just trying to remember... Oh, oh there's a kitchen. Maybe we'll go for the kitchen as well. We know there's a guard up there. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I mean, I don't think I ever really got lost in Thief 1, to be fair. I, I, don't, I don't recall ever really getting lost, to the best of my knowledge. I just kind of... I mean, there was so much to explore in these games that getting lost was half the charm, really. Hold on a minute, what? Uh, this is the case up we need to take. Hey, you boy. Yes, this is not Doom. Stakes torsion emails. Uh, not really. Oh, we're in the same room again, but now we're in the middle. Nah, I don't really want to be approaching from the middle because there's too much light and there's unknown sideways. Oh, is that like when people. You mean the ones that end up in my junk usually? I've had all kinds of junk emails, like people claiming they've hacked my malware and then show off passwords and please type in your password because your PayPal account's been hacked and stuff like that. Yeah, that was it, yeah. Oh, I've had those. They just, they just get deleted. Meanwhile, back to the two most fortunate guards in the whole building because I'm not going to be... knocking them out so they don't get to suffer. Unless they decide to draw them out of their little comfort hole anyway. Oh, all this and I can't even go through this stupid door anyway. God damn it. Okay, I guess I am going to have to go for the main hole then after all. I can't get around that. So there aren't any lockpicks. Nah, I just don't bother. Nah, I just don't bother. Leave them to it. Yeah, that's plenty do them. I mean, they don't have to. They only have to get one person to fall for it, you know. It's like that old expression, um, you know. You only have to. Get, we. You have to get lucky ninety-nine times. We only have to get lucky once. Which, if I recall correctly, is a reference to the IRA and bombings and dark shit. Basically, it's the idea that as a you can you know you you'll fool a foul, you'll send ten million emails, and if one of them gives you the money, you, we win. Basically. <laughs> You're not doing anything wrong. You good? Oh, uh, this will lead to the that big outside the area, but we're not gonna go there. Hmm. Oh, it's also locked, so maybe we can just walk around in peace. Look at this. This is a beautiful looking room. The lighting's a little weird, but. It, it's a nice room. This is like a awards room. Awards and ladies room, you know? You've got a chandelier. You've got a roaring fire. You've got a big ass vase and a kitchen with servants below you. Just so ominous that it's so quiet. Is that? Uh... 
Oh, it's a vase. Okay. You can go over there, vase. Oh. Where'd the vase go? Tell me I've still got it. Yeah, put it away. Somewhere. That being said, I do, I am a lot more careful with my webcam these days. I used to leave the webcam on, uh, well not on, just where it was all the time. Now I just have the webcam on when I'm streaming. When I'm not streaming, I just disconnect it. I advise anyone else to do the same. Never leave your webcam on all the time, only if you're using it. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if you're a real hacker, you wouldn't really tell the person you've got their password unless you... You'd probably do something else first. Something moved there. All right, I forgot for a second that this wasn't a professional... I, I, I forgot I was a FIFA for a second. And I do actually have to somehow draw out the guards. No, I just disconnect the webcam. Also, fuck you, I don't do any of that. Huh. Apparently this is a ghost pillar. Let's try it again. Huh? Is it not supposed to make a clank off the wall? I thought you could make a noise with the sword, like you hit a wall, it goes clunk. I'm trying to draw him out. Strange. Damn it, I need to... Mm. This is really tough. As the lights are technological. Turn my light on, John. Is it that dark already? Yes, it is. But I'm trying to be like the game, sneaky and stealthy and stuff. As I spot two spiders. Two spiders that look like they're levitating in the middle of the air on the outside of the window I just closed. My curtains, of course, so sorry, not windows. Um, well, shit. Yeah, what can we do on the outside? If they were inside, they would be dead. I'm not quite sure what we're going to have to do here. We don't really have a lot of options in terms of manipulating the environment, so we're just going to have to get lucky with bopping them on the back of the head. I mean, there is a dark area there I might be able to use if I can get to it. I just need to get into that dark little area there. And bam. Hello. Show yourself. There we go. Seems quiet enough now. That's what we want. Nice dark area. Doop -a doop doop doop. I remember this bit. Yeah. Oh no, is he gonna come all the way here? <coughs> I'll just leave him there, I think. in the dark so one down <laughs> two to go I think oh I'll have to be careful with this one because it is a 
Yeah, that does exist. That's like what? Hello. I've gotten really good at using that blackjack. <laughs> I have a struggle in this when I first started. Two down. I think that's all of them down. I can't hear any more. Should be clear to go and sniff around a bit. Get the good shits. There's that weird noise again. What's all that about? There ain't naught in here. Might be a good place to actually put these bodies in, I think. Yeah, it's kind of like the... Um, it sounds very similar to, like, revenge porn, as they call it. That does happen sometimes. Although I guess it's kind of the same idea, yeah. Good night, boys. Oh shit, that was a bad idea. Oh, this guard's gonna be a pain in the ass. I don't have any moss arrows to kind of counter counterfeit the uh, noisy floor. Damn you, noisy guard. I want to go in there, to the dining room. <laughs> I want to go in. <laughs> but every time I try and peek in, he's always facing the very, very bad way for me. Let me in. Let me in. Yes, it's like that. Let me in, you bugger. Come on. Oh, I can't even tell when I'm supposed to be able to get a strike in. Hmm. Oh god, they'll probably hear me when I try and go for the strike. What is he? He's he's oh god! He's also got the anti thief maneuver going on. Look at him! Is that the same guy in the kitchen? Walk around a circle. Walk around a circle. <laughs> I'm not getting knocked out. No. Not a surprise for you. What was that? Objective completed. Oh, he has a key on him. What objective did I complete? Oh, eight knockouts. <laughs> We're done for the knockouts. Hey, all right. I think we can steal the gold plate. Yep. And we have 600 loot, but we need gems to complete that one. Playing cards? Yeah, playing cards. That was so lucky, though. That anti step thief maneuver is going to be a pain. Actually, I, I got to just. Like, you get like a second before they react to you in front of them, and, and you have to strike. You have to weed your strike. I've had a lot of practice doing that in the first game with guards that were a lot more gruffer. I wonder if we'll still have the gruff guards in this one. Just make one little noise, Taffer. So far, they all sound relatively more polite, these guards. What's in this picture? It's a bunch of kitchen stuff. There's food that looks like it's half eaten. That was bones? The intended way to deal with him is to use the surface with thing by the table. 
Oh, like... Bring up some food for him or something, which he then eats, and then you just knock him out? Oh, okay. Well, I guess I didn't do that. Running like a lunatic and bopping him on the head. Works. Uh, oh, oh god, that's bunny rabbits, I think. Yeah, there's like one bunny, two bunny, and then a bird. I Oh, gain the lift and steal the key. What is this key for, then? Oh, I see. So I steal the key and then just leave them to it. Weird. Yeah, it doesn't tell us what the key's for. We're going to find out, though. we still got shit to do. I mean... We've all we gotta do is get a few more gems and we're done. But you, you, you can bet your ass I'm gonna explore the rest of this place before we're done. Doom guy would, yeah, Doom guy would not approve of that picture. You're right. If there's plot and cool stories, I'm going to have them both. There's that weird noise again. We're in the guards. Hmm. I think it's just a workshop noise, to be honest. I shouldn't really be that freaked out by it. Just another storage room. Oh, this is the other way in, but we can't get there either. I guess in a way, this level actually is sort of a tutorial. Sort of. You, you can only go around one way because you don't have a lockpick, so... You kind of have to learn stuff, but... It is still very... Sort of linear, perhaps. Does the key... Uh, that's a good point. Try it. As soon as I check out this room. I really hope we're going to get some more spooky locations in this game. Like the... Uh, that's a really... Well, I, I mean, I expect maybe we'll get some really creepy shit later. Wait, did I not cover the room? Where am I now? Bedroom. Oh yeah, I expect the levels to get a lot less linear going forward. Without a doubt. Bingo! Yoink! Look at that! Uh, it's a magical light. But it's giving off a weird flame color. I don't think there's some more unreal locations. Um... I don't know if I want to spoil too much since Capel 47's here, but there were some interesting, shall we say, locations in the first game. Bowl. All right. Oh. This. Oh, okay. A light switch. How fancy. And believe it or not, we didn't see any of those in Thief 1, so maybe the technology has gotten better. Hence the Metal Age, where technology is beginning to make thieves harder work. What is I can turn the fucking light on and off? Well, I'll be seeing more of that. So, hold on. I went... I, I, apparently, I've missed a door somewhere. That's odd.
I fully explored the room. There's nothing in it, is there? But for some reason, it doesn't show as blue. It just kind of doesn't show up as a thing. That's odd. Anyway. Right, now we're in a bedroom area. I don't hear anything. Ooh, a thing. That's nice. Yeah, the music's changed. I think it's... Oh, that, that's probably come from the white, isn't it? The weird sort of white. That's something else that the first game did really well, although it's very understated. The music was this creepy ambience a lot of the time. There's a lot of good, really ambient... And that's what we want, gems. We just need 50 more gems to complete the... Uh, the stuff. That is a very weird looking ceiling. It's all dark in here. Doesn't seem to be anything in here. Okay, so it's just two bedrooms and stuff, so. So it's clear. Oh, maybe it unlocks the key for this area. Perhaps it gives us a key to the other uh, thing. Because there's the other bedroom to check out. Might go try the key on this door, though, as you said. Let's see if that works. Let's try it. Nope, there was the other one. Huh. How come there's noises here? Did the bottle return or something? Or maybe it was those guards. No, the bottle's not returned. Oh, it's just the guards from earlier. Alright, whatever. We'll weave them. They will be the only ones knocked out tonight, I suspect. How big this is, though, is it? I guess they put on performances here on occasion. Just trying to explain why that is so big. Now let's see if it works with this door. 
open sesame. It does. Now we can access the other bedroom. Area. This one sounds like it has people around now, so... Oh. Out the hell guards and knock up the female ones. You dirty wretch, Dave. That was weird in here. I was walking we just enough in the dark they couldn't spot me. So it's all good. Oh, there's no books or anything. I was hoping for like a journal entry. Get, a bit, get to know a bit more about this weird couple that has a, a chambermaid on me contract. I guess we could probably turn them off with a water, but... Don't laugh at my sexist jokes, John. It just encourages me. Kind of a shame you don't stream anymore, but I can understand why you stopped doing it. There's nothing here either, seemingly. Alright, upstairs we go. Let's see if we can find... We, we still need some gems, so I hope there is something up here. Or else we are going to be a little bit uh, buggered. In terms of... Run out of shitty Tomb Raider mods. Yeah, I understand. Strange corner there. Oh, this is just the same as the other one. So there's a closet. picture. Hmm. I think this is the closet. Yeah, just a closet, I think. Ah, ah, what do we have here? Well, well. We now have our third copy of the house key, which we can sell off to the pawn shop. And we have some sunglasses. Also, spectacles. And a hairbrush. That's cool. Yeah, I haven't streamed it 3,000 times. It's not enough! <laughs> Not enough. <laughs> oh man, there wasn't even any loot in here. This is complete, apart from a couple of Oh, a switch. We found something. But what did we find? As I say, this was a complete bust. We suddenly found something. But now I need to find out where that actually opened. Try the bed. I 
Oh yeah, there's something up there. A little tiny panel. And that gives us the gems quota. Okay. Nice. Holy shit, you really did have to find that to complete this uh, objective. All right, I guess, I think we're done here, aren't we? We've been literally everywhere. I don't know why that's not marked down, but we... The only place we haven't been to is the guards room and where we need to be anyway. And I guess maybe the main big hole, but I guess now we can uh, get on with the... Um, what we came here to do. Forced secrets. You know, I was playing on non-expert, it wouldn't even come up here. Well, whatever. Time to go and reunite the um the couple, I guess. So I think we have to make sure the route's clear that is he's marked out. I'm guessing he's going to take that route when he rescues Genevieve. So, okay, the light's out there. Yeah, he's pretty clear, I think, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's clear to go rescue his girlfriend. That's the door we need to get to. Okay, let's go. Let's go where our friend knows is clear to come out and do whatever he wants. Unless I, unless I do want to knock out the guards, do you think there's a chance I could do that? I don't know. I'm tempted. I'm tempted to maybe give it a try if I can get the door open. It wasn't that room? It was the one before. In here. Maybe the guards will have an interesting book I can read or whatever. No. Hmm. I'm going to test if I can knock that out with an arrow or not. Ooh, baby. I can. Talking about the lack of birds. Hmm. I have a feeling that's going to be important to keep an eye on. That's the thing about this game. If you're watching this uh, playthrough or if you've never played it before, do do listen to what the guards say. Sometimes they do fill in some interesting gaps. I don't want to talk about fucking rocks, but... Good night! You will be avenged! Eh? Uh, okay. I don't know why she said that. Maybe it was something she said after she noticed a friend. Yeah, it, it, they're talking about the whack of birds. Maybe there's some kind of... Oh, I think I, I I think what I can guess what happened is she reacted to the first person being knocked out, but I knocked her out so quickly she didn't have time to sort of do anything about it. Anyway, there's the door. It's open. Okay, that's pretty much every single guard knocked out. So now we're super clear to go and do whatever the hell. Hmm, perhaps, uh, I'm sticking with what I said earlier. I have a feeling there's going to be a major theme in this game about technology advancing, like industrial kind of shit. Maybe society's becoming a lot more like, you know, pollution, something like that. Someone knows lines anyway.
Actually, there is one more thing we probably do need to check, and that's is he queer as soon as he leaves the building. I think he will be, though. Oh, hey, I never actually went outside at any point. I've just been... I've just killed everyone in the fucking house all day, and... Do you think that might... Do you think there might be something I've missed out here? At all? Hmm. I might have a look around, actually. Maybe there's something I might miss. I mean, if I find any extra loot, that's good, because... Well, need can you mean to can buy more stuff in the missions? Nah, I didn't. Okay. Yeah, I think I got a feeling the the metal age is referring to technology increasing. So. Oh my! Wait, what is that? In the in the city sky, it's like a huge ass tower. Hey, Dumbaratu, how you doing? Hmm. There's two more. Oh, it's actually locked. So I guess we're not supposed to go there. Okay, let's do this thing. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go get your girlfriend. The bird comment is a way to the plot, that's all you're saying. Yep, this is the first level, Dunbar 2. We have literally cleaned the entire place. So this guy's going to have a very easy... He's just fucking running. Okay, dude. Well, go on. It's queer. Like, I've knocked everybody out. You are safe as houses to go. I know that's a moon. I meant the giant looking building illuminated by the moon. Oh yeah, that's a point. It's just probably a good thing that we knocked out every single guard before we got here. He seriously is going to take the route he advertised. It's okay, man. I told you, all the guards are down. Every single one of them. You stream this game and one problem is that OBS broadcast is much darker than it appears to the player. Yeah, I couldn't actually get this on game capture at all. I had to use movie. I mean, not movie. I call it movie mode, but I mean the uh, screen cap. Here we go. Let's reunite the couple. Basso! Shh, come with me. I want to I wanna go in your room first. Uh, no, no! No! <laughs> You son of a bitch. Yeah, uh, it's not a big deal, really. I mean, it just means if I don't tab out the game, my desktop will be visible for a moment. But there's nothing embarrassing on there anyway. I've made sure of that. I thought we'd be able to go in a room. But... I guess that's not going to happen. Alright then, you have a nice sweet pineapple. I'll see you later. Shh, come with me. Mission complete. So there we go. We gave him the signal, we escorted him out, we stole all the stuff, we didn't kill anyone, and we knocked out the guards. Except for the one at the front entrance, because we couldn't get to him. Stats. 1 hour, 17 minutes, 4 seconds. Oh man, there was still 280 loot I missed somehow. I found, I picked 3 out of 9 pockets. Knocked out 11 guards, dealt 12 damage. 
and found all the secrets. Yeah, I think I sort of fathomed that after a little bit. It is like a pseudo tutorial. I mean, this came out a year after the first Thief, so it's like if you if you if you've played the first one, you don't really need to have a proper tutorial because everyone's familiar with it. So it's all good. Actually, yeah, I do remember you being around when I played the first Thief Dumber R2. <laughs> I guess you're a big Thief fan. This is nice. Now to the docks. So we helped our friend. He owes us a favor now. Maybe we can actually go steal some important stuff. This is like a warm-up. I mean, come on. I've stolen stuff from frigging wizards. This is like an easy run. Now let's see what happens. Blessed be the forge, which gives shapes onto metal, and steam onto the boiler. Blessed be the fire of the builder and the forge of Karis. Mechanist. Business has been kind of slow these days, thanks to Sheriff Gorman Truart. He's been coming down hard on my competition, and anyone else he deems unlawful. I've been playing it safe by keeping a low profile, but as my landlord recently reminded me, the rent is late. He says he's going to pay me a visit tomorrow to collect. So I'll have to go amateur for some quick cash. The warehouses by the docks should fit the bill. In addition to the usual shipping traffic, there's also a small smuggling operation sponsored by the local underground. Not too many guards, lots of dark corners, and several points of entry should make this job painless and profitable. Maybe I'll even have something left over for myself once the rent is paid. It wasn't that long ago that I was planning on my retirement. Now the only thing that's getting retired is my standards. If things get any worse, I'll have to go back to picking pockets in the streets. <laughs> the plot of all Thief games. Carrot accidentally saves the world while trying to pay the rent. Yeah, that's, uh, that's the way it is. It's... Well... In the, face of the, the case of the first game, it's Garrett... Garrett saves the world after stealing to nearly doom the world. But yeah, it's basically all to pay the rent. But at least we now know who Truett is. The Sheriff. So we're cracking down on thieves like crazy. Alright, so we have the three difficulties. Normal, hard, and our expert, of course. Shipping and receiving. Gilver knows he's sending out a very important shipment tomorrow, but what he doesn't know is that it's being redirected to your fence. Find a new shipping label and put it on the big crate outside of Gilver's office. Some rare spice has been smuggled through the warehouse district lately. Find it and you'll make some quick cash on the black market. The landlord is coming tomorrow. You need to steal at least 850 loot to cover the rent and other expenses. You're a thief, not a murderer, being professional, you can't kill anyone. After you're done, you need to get out of the area quickly so you don't get caught. Return to the stack of crates. Okay, so, yeah. So, don't uh, get caught. I, don't, I, don't, I think that means, like, um, at the end, I don't think it managed to get spoiled, or you don't want to get spoiled, obviously. Um, right. Oh, no sh... Oh, oh, oh no, here we go. Here's the, the, the shop. As I thought, shops. Swellful Potion. Hmm, this is new. This potion arrests some of your downward velocity when taken and reduces the effect of gravity. That could be useful for some missions. Invisibility. Oh, an invisibility potion. This potion makes you invisible. Beware that it only lasts a few seconds and does not make you inaudible. So, probably don't want to use that. Papius, someone wants to give you some advice for a fee. Okay, we don't need arrows because we're not going to kill anyone. We have water arrows, we have lock picks. Oh, we have lock picks now, that's good. Healing potions, flares, moss arrow. Um, I think we'll take the Papyrus because that'll give us some hints, so we'll, we'll purchase that. 
Definitely. Uh, each word will illuminate your surroundings for a short period of time. Oh, okay. So it's kind of like um, if you want to see shit, then that's your option. The funny thing is, is that in the first game, I very rarely used a lot of items because I mainly just, I mean, the most time I probably used was water arrows and the occasional moss arrow. But that was much later when things were much more hard to sneak past a bunch of guards and shit. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I guess it would be useful if you want to see stuff, but I don't think I'll ever need to use the flares. I mean, if I come across them and I need them, whatever. So, um, let me think. What should I?